<clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Platypie franchise rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for the team, we took on the Heaters for the first time this year, and we absolutely manhandled our division rival despite them throwing our their best starter and their best, or second best starter and their best reliever at us. 12 to 3 as we took care of business with these once again without hitting a home run. It wasn't even close, and that victory marked an almost near-complete game from Stubby Tubrick as we just extended our winning streak to now four games in a row, and we've started hot at 5-1. and one. Before we jump into today's episode against the Overdogs, we did say we were going to take a look at potential roster moves for the team, so let's jump into it here. Uh, is there anybody really struggling on the team right now that kind of might need to be let go? Uh, looking at stats here real quick, the only person really struggling is Scooter Sandbrick, batting only 154. Gary Cartman really hasn't gotten a lot of options to play, neither has Sky Rodriguez, so the two of them are kind of negligible at this current moment. Uh, they are the only two members of the team without a hit, though, if we want to point that out to you. Uh, but Sandbrook's the only one with, like, regular playing time who isn't doing anything. So he is basically the man on the chopping block at this point. Uh, Bug Liams has started slow. Linda Hand is kind of expendable as well. Um, there are a couple places we can make moves, especially on the off offensive side of things, for sure. But is there anybody available for us to pick up that we could, like, you know use at the current moment. Due to El Dorino, uh, Camilla Cuffingham is also an option. So is uh, Tacoby, uh, Pooch Ponderosa, Ham Connor, Lynn Adabetta. That's really only it right now. Uh, Dilly Dowler, I guess, is a maybe as well. But for right now, we're not really focused on her. So yeah, I would say Hey, I'm calling her and Lynetta better probably get picked up here within the next game or two based on where their prices are. Do we want to pay that much money for them? Probably not, and we're not in dire need of an outfielder or a closing pitcher who's liable to blow games a lot. So, hard pass. Pooch Ponderosa, solid, decent backup, can only play left field, and I'm not really looking for a left fielder at the current moment. I'm looking for a right fielder, so he's also out at the current moment. That brings us down to the bottom end up here with Camilla Cuffingham. We could use her as a young backup catcher. And if we do sign her, she can also play right field. So she can flip-flop with Owugliums. And she would replace someone like veteran Chase Tabuli, who really isn't that great for us offensively and is here just purely as a defensive catcher. Do we want to make that move right now? She's at negative 0.5 million under her asking price. So it is within reason that she will, could be signed here after next game. Also, the other option we have here is Duder Alderino, who is basically a backup first baseman. He'd be an interesting choice as well. Being a C plus, he's already over minus 0.5 million below his asking price, so he potentially could also be on the move here very shortly. However, I am inclined to give this one more game and see if we can work it out with the guys we have. So. We are going to jump into this game with the Overdogs here today. Rusty Nozzle is going to be on the mound for us. 1-0 with a 1 ERA and an 0.78 whip coming off a complete game, giving up one run in his first go-round. And on the mound for the Overdogs, it is young right-hander Werner Bergenberg. No record of 9 ERA and a 2.50 whip. Overdogs come in as speed demons here. They also have eh, decent power hitting and decent bullpen, but other than that, there's not much else here on the roster. Lineup for today's game. Leading off at first base is going to be Muffin Studwick as he's going to move in from left field. Harrow Wugliams will get the start in right field despite still being tense. Beefcake and Stevens will be on fire. He's at third base. Then it's Rory Crowds locked in in left. Kitty Coffin's locked in at second base. Charlie Lopez is at short. Tugboat Thomas is catching and Linda Hand is going to get the start in center field today. As Willie Bacon and Scooter Sandbrick both go to the bench despite their struggles. If that's what they're going to do... I don't think we should keep Sandbrick on the roster anymore. We should probably just go ahead and make the move now and get rid of him if he's not even going to play this game. Like, what are you doing, Scooter? What are you doing with your life? I, I don't even think you know. He's just performing so badly right now. I just, I go back and forth on this, like, really badly with, like, getting rid of him now or waiting one more game. I really think we can get rid of him now and, you know, eat the cap hit here. I really don't want El Dorino, though. I kind of want someone like Swolson or Butterfinger, who would both be better options for us moving forward. <sighs> or Ottavon Olio. All three of them would be better options than Duder El Dorino. They're all younger than him. They're all developable. It's just... <sighs> there isn't a good one 
available yet that is worth what he's worth. So price-wise, I think we're just stuck with it at this point. Let's just uh, shift this lineup around a bit here. go there we go yeah, drop her down there and put Thomas there okay perfect so it's gonna be Kaufman Studwick crowds McStevens Thomas Lopez Owugliam's hand and then nozzle and we are on the road so let's put our uh, home uniforms on or road uniforms on sorry Facing the Overdogs, we know what their alternates look like. They're going to wear their regular home. Here's their lineup. Leading off at second base is locked in Elroy Action. Batting second is left fielder Guy Gold. Batting third on fire center fielder today, Casper Stern. Batting fourth, first baseman Sakta Song, their offensive captain. Batting fifth is tenth third baseman Rhonda Horn. Batting sixth, right fielder Robin Yu. Batting seventh is catcher backup Samuel Perez. And batting eighth is rattled shortstop Kasia Emmon. With Bergenberg on the mound batting nine, let's jump into it and have some fun as we head out to the motor yard for today's matchup. Do it. Here we go. Let's get it on. Kitty Coffin leading off, locked in at second, hitting 571 with seven RBIs, facing young right-hander Werner Bergenberg, who got de-aged here in SMB4. He came in at over 40 in SMB3, and he is now down to, I believe, 21, making him a very developable rotation piece for this Overdogs roster. He's also the youngest starting pitcher in their rotation. Bergenberg, no record, a 9 ERA and a 250 whip. In his one start, he went four innings giving up four in runs on nine hits with one walk, one homer, and four strikeouts. Batting average against 474 for the young right-hander. He's actually 22, my bad, but he did come in at like 38 or 41, something like that. Like, this man got the DH treatment. They saw he had something special. They DH'd him for us to use him. Here's the elite slider trade. Is that first pitch change up hits the outside corner, 0-1. There's his slider. It's off the plate inside, 1-1. Change of away, hit up the middle to second, backhanded by action on the first, one down. First baseman Muffin Studwick up next. He's hitting 357 with two RBIs. Fastball hitter active for Muffin. Max boosted the lead slider as well here for Bergenberg as that heater's inside up from the cutter. Ball one. Cutter up in there at the letters. One and one. Slider up an inline to first, right at song, two down. Base is empty for left fielder Rory Crowds. He's locked in, inside pitch active. Hitting 667 with a homer and seven RBIs. Change of away is outside, ball one. Change of away, strike called, one on one, nice pitch. That's away on the change, 2 1. Heater down in the way, chopped at the middle, and Crowds is going to have a base hit as he's going to continue to hit hot. Nice job, Rory. On with the two out knock here in the first. Got to bring up the cleanup hitter on fire, Beefcake McStevens, hitting 643. Two homers, eight RBIs, and high pitch active here for the right-handed right hitting third baseman. Pick off to first, back safely as crowds. As Sam Perez behind the plate does not have a good throwing arm, so we could potentially run on him all day. Pick off again, it's two in a row. Pitch out, nothing doing, 1-0. Change bump ripped to third, but right at Ronda Horn, and that ends the inning. Unlucky there. Bottom one, we're scoreless. Action, Gold, and Stern coming up. Now, Elroy Action up, second baseman locked in. First pitch Slayer active, hitting 375 with a homer and four RBIs. Facing right-hander Rusty Nozzle coming off a complete game victory his first go-round. Went the distance, giving up one earned run on seven hits, one strikeout, one complete game. Batting average against 226, uh, a whip of 078, and an ERA of 1. He's 1-0 one to start the year. First pitch heater down and in. That's chopped a short, slow roller for Lopez on to first, the one down. Next up, Guy Gold, the left fielder, hitting 304, two homers, five RBIs. 
First pitch curveball down and in, taken low, ball one. Better up and away. That's fouled off, one and one. Peter up and in. That's jammed in the hole to third. Just foul. Good effort by McStevens. One, two. Slider down in the way. Chased it, strike three. First punch up for Nozzle today. Two down. Base is empty for center fielder on fire. Casper Stern, who's hitting hot here to start the year. Low pitch mind gamer both active, hitting 444. Two homers, five RBIs here on the season. Cutter up and away on the first one. Check swing strike, 0 1. Slider middle win. Check swing strike called, 0 2. Nozzle quickly ahead. Beer up and in. Chased and popped it up to short. Lopez there. 1 2 3 inning for Nozzle as he's through the first. To the second, we're scoreless. Thomas, Lopez, and O'Wugliams coming up. Catcher Tugboat Thomas getting the start behind the plate today, hitting an even 500. Three RBIs on the year. Bergenberg ready. Here we go. Heater down and away, low and outside. Ball one. Heater up and away, line down the right field line by Thomas, but he's just late. 1 1. Slider down, whiffed on it late. 1 2. Heater down, chopper to third. High hopper to horn. On to first, one down. Next up, shortstop Charlie Lopez hitting 542 with 10 RBIs on the season. No homers. Slider away, misses outside. Ball one. Good eye there. Change bump away, hitting the hole to second. Pass the diving action. It's a base hit. Charlie Lopez on with a one out knock here in the second as the speedster is going to be on here. Got to bring up right fielder Harrow Wugliams, who is tense. Hitting only 238 to start the year. Three RBIs. Off speed hitter active, though, with the max boost. Long look at first there from Bergenberg. Heater misses outside. Ball one. Better away. Strike called. One and one. Pick off to first. In the dirt. Good save by Song. Back safely Lopez. Change up inside. Rip foul. One and two. Pick off to first. Back safely is Lopez. That's the second pick off. Runner goes. Chased it high on the cutter. First strikeout for Bergenberg. Throw down is late. Easy steal for Charlie Lopez. Center fielder, Center fielder Linda Hand coming up now with the RBI chance. Hitting 333 with one RBI here on the air. Batting two for six on the season, I believe. Or three for nine. For Charlie, that was his first successful steal of the year. He's one for two. Linda trying to drive him home here with two down. Slider up and away. Hits the top of the zone. 0 one Good pitch from Bergenberg. Cut her up, chased out of the zone, and popped her up behind short. And then out there in left center, puts it away to end the inning. Bergenberg strands the runner, bottom two. We're scoreless still. Song, Horn, and you coming up against Nozzle. Sack to Song, the first baseman leading off. Power versus righty and off-speed hitter active. Hitting 280 with a homer and four RBIs. Curveball down in the way on the first one. That's line back up the middle. Off-speed hitter comes in hot. Handy there for Song. He's on with a leadoff knock on the first pitch he sees. Ronda Horn up next. Third baseman is tense, hitting a buck 11 on the year with one homer and one RBI. Pick off the first. Nothing doing. Back safely with Song. Slider middle in. Check swing strike. 0 1. Cut her down in the way. Check low, one and one. Good eye. Peter up it in. Chased it high, one and two. Whiffer activates here for Horn. Well down and in. Chased and fouled back on the hit and run. One, two. Cut her up and away. Chased it, strike three. Second punch out for Nozzle, one down. Robin Yu up next. Right fielder hitting a, an even 200. One homer, one RBI as he's um, tight roping right now on the Mendoza line. Trying to decide whether or not he wants to be above or below it. Cutter down in the way, runner goes, strike called, throw down by Thomas in the dirt, picked by Lopez, but it's a steal for Song as he beats the throw. Sacked his second steal of the year. He's a perfect two for two here to start the season. A one count here to Robin Yu. Curveball middle in. 
Lined at the middle of the second. That's a base hit into right at center. Hand on the dive. Keeps it in front of her, but that is going to be an easy RBI single here. No cutoff man there, so make it a double. one nothing over dogs. Catcher Samuel Perez up next, hitting it even 333 with an RBI. Slider down in the way on the first one with on at 01. I believe Steeler activated out there at second base. Yep. So increased odds that you will steal. Peter up and away. Chased it high. 02. Cut up in. Jammed to right field on the fly. Right at Williams for the second out of the inning. Runner will hold. Cannon arm activated. Good decision. <laughs> Two down for his rattled shortstop, Kasha Emmon, hitting only 043 on the year with three RBIs. She does have RBI hero active, though. Triple down and in on the first pitch. Checks. It's called a strike at the knees, actually. 0 1. Better down in the way. Chopped at the middle to short. That is into center field for a base hit. And comes up throwing for the plate. Throw is cut. RBI knock for Emmon. It's 2 0 over dogs. Her fourth RBI of the year. Inning will continue for the pitcher, Werner Bergenberg. Batting an even thousand on the year. Slider down in the way in the first pitch. Chop back to the mound. Nozzle makes the play to first end the inning. Two runs home in the inning, though, for the dogs as they take the 2 nothing lead to the third. Nozzle up next, then Coffin and Studwick. Rusty Nozzle leading off in the third, trying to get something started. Hitting one for four on the season. Change up and away, strike call, though one. Heater away, skied off the end of the bat to medium deep center, therefore it's Stern, one down. Kitty coughing up next, second baseman 0 for 1 today, but still locked in. Slider up and away, strike call, nice pick from Bergenberg, 0 1. Cutter away, ripped to left field, sinking quickly down in front of the sliding gold for a base hit. Speedy Kaufman on with one down here in the third. Here comes Studwick, who's over one with the line out. Fastball hitter active. Pick off to first, back safely is Kaufman. Change up up, taken high, ball one. Slide at the knees, dumped to right field. That is sinking quickly and down for a base hit. Studwick's first hit of the day, he's one for two. Two on, one down. Flat by a guy threatening here for Rory Crowds. One for one with a single today. He's locked in. Inside pitch active here still. Change him up. Chop the second. Chased it. Action the second one. Emmon to first. That's a double play, and that kills the rally where it it stands. Bottom three, it's 2 0. You got to be more patient. Action Golden Stern coming up. Bottom of the third, top of the lineup for the Overdogs up for the second time today as Action Act up first with first pitch Slayer active here. Peter down in the way. Low, ball one. Slider up and away. That's a strike, one and one. Slider up and in. Foul back, one and two. Come on down in the way. Outside and low, two, two. Slider down and in. Chased. Foul back. Still a uh, 2-2 two -two count here. Where's he moving away? Grounded the second. Coffin charges. Backhands on to first. One down. Next up is going to be left fielder Guy Gold is over one. Eater middle away. Strike call. 0-1. Well down and in. Foul back. 0-2. Cutter up it in. Chased and jammed foul out of play. 0 2. Slider down in the way. Chopped the second in the hole. Cough into her left. Cuts it off. On to first. Two down. Base sent for Casper Stern. He's over one today, but still locked in. Glad his first time up. Slider been in on the first one. High. Ball one. Just missed. Eater up and away. High. 2 0. Ball away, outside, 3-0. Cutter up, middle of the zone. Strike called at the top of the zone, 3-1. Peter up and in. Chased it high, full count. 
Put up and away. Chased outside, strike three. Third punch up our nozzle. That ends the inning. Nice pitching. One, two, three inning for him to the fourth. It's still two nothing over dogs. McStevens, Thomas, and Lopez look to get the rally started here in the fourth. Now batting. On fire, third baseman Beefcake McStevens leads off. 0 for 1 today with high pitch active here against Bergenberg. He lined out to third his first time up. Heater up at the top of the zone. Line foul as he was late. 0 1. Better low, missing. 1 1. Slider up. One hopper to second. Action there. One down. Tugboat Thomas up next. He's 0 for 1 with the fly out today. Heater inside misses, ball one. Heater down, low, 2 0. Heater down on the way, line to center field, and that's down for a base hit. Tugboat Thomas on with a one out knock, as the slow footed catcher is going to get on here. One on in the fourth for Lopez. One for one with a single and a stolen base today. He's now locked in again. Facing the still locked in Bergenberg. Heater up and in, strike call, 0 1. Here, middle in line back to Bergenberg makes the catch and they double off Thomas to end the inning. <sighs> For the second straight inning, a double play kills our momentum. Bottom four, we're still down two nothing. Song, Horn, and you do up. That is most unfortunate. Song up one for one with a single today as he scored a run his first go round. Still has both traits active here against Nozzle. Cutter down and then check swing strike. Go on. Where's him down in the way? Low, one on one. Slider pin in. Inside off the plate, two one. Peter up and away. Chased it outside, two two. Double down. Line to short, one hopper. Picked by Lopez. On to first, one down. Ronda Horn up next, still 10, so for one today with a strikeout. Or him down in the way, off the plate, low, ball one. Cut up and in, chased and fouled back over the screen, 1-1. One, one. Slider down and in, ooh, just low, 2-1, stone cold take there. Curveball down in the way, low, 3-1, good eye. Heater up and away. Outside ball four. First walk for Nozzle. Horn will reach with one down for Robin Yu. One for one with an RBI double and a run scored his first time up. Ladder up and away in the first one. Yu taking. Strike called. 0-1. Oh, Forcing me down and in. Low and inside. 1-1. One, one. Cutter down in the way. Grounded a third. Right at McStevens. A fire to second. One. Cough into first. Double play. You love to see it as we return the favor with our first turn two of the day. To the fifth. It's 2 0. Oh, Ugliam's hand and nozzle coming up. Bottom of the lineup here for the Platypi in the fifth. Trying to get something started. Oh, Ugliam's leading off. She's the only strikeout victim so far in the lineup. 0 for 1 today. Still tense. Bergenberg still locked in here. Heater down in the way. Strike called. 0 1. Heater away. One hopper to short. Emmon makes the pick. On to first. One down. Linda hand up next. She's over one today. Slider pin in. Taking high. Ball one. Chase the heater down and then. Bad swing on my part. 1 1. Heater up and in. Of course, that's a strike. 1 2. Heater up, late swing, strike three. Second punch out for Bergenberg. Two down for the pitcher, Nozzle, who flew out the center his first time up. 0 for 1. He's locked in, though. Slider down in the way, hit the knees. 0 1. Out in front of the changeup, down and in. 1 and 2. 0 2. Change boy is pulled softly to left field. Out for it, Emmon, and that's a 1 2 3 inning. Bergenberg cruising. He's got a shutout through five. Bottom five. We're halfway home in a good old fashioned pitcher's duel. 2 0. Overdogs lead. Bottom of their lineup coming up again, Perez, Emmon, and Bergenberg. <laughs> Pardon me. Jesus. Catcher Samuel Perez leading off. He's 0 for 1 today, batting in the seventh slot today. Forcing down in the way. Low ball one. Curve ball middle in. Floats in there for a strike, 1-1. One, one. 
Slider pin away. Outside, 2-1. Cut her down in the way. Foul back, 2-2. Two, two. Forcing her down and then. Check swing off the plate. Full count. Slider down in the way. Outside ball four. Stone cold take from Perez as that misses just outside. Second walk for David Nozzle. Lead off man on for Kasha Emin. RBI single her first time up. She's got four RBIs now on the day season, but she's still rattled. Nozzle still locked in despite the leadoff walk. Forcing her down and then. Strike call, 0 1. Slider down in the way. Check low, 1 and 1. Good eye. Curve down in the way. Foul off, 1 and 2. Cut her for in. High, 2 2. Forcing the middle in. Off the plate, full count. Slider up and away. Chopped in the hold of short. Lopez on the dive out of his reach. It's a base hit. Emin two for two today. Two on to start the inning for the overdogs. As nozzle down to neutral. Pitcher slot coming up next. It's Bergenberg. 0 for 1 today, but still locked in. Grounded out his first time up. Let's see if he tries to bunt. Forcing him up and in. Bunt shown. Drop down in front of the mound. Nozzle no play has to go to first on the sacrifice, and that's the first out of the inning. Our reaction now with the RBI chance. 0 for 2 today, though. First pitch slayer still active. Curveball down and then. Low. Good block by Thomas. 1 0. Cutter outside. Chased him. Popped him up behind the plate. Thomas out of the crouch. Puts it away. 2 down. E gold up next. He's still 0 for 2. All the pressure on him now with 2 down. Cutter up and away. Foul back over the screen. 0 1. Slide it down the way. Chopped to short. Lopez to his left. Cuts it off. On to first in time to end the inning. Nice pitching nozzle to get around those two leadoff base runners. To the sixth. We're still down 2 0. Coffin, Studwick, and Crowds coming up. Coffin leading off. One for two with a single is still locked in. Slider away. Off the plate from Bergenberg. 0 1. Change it down and then is low, 2-0. Slider for away, taken high, 3-0. I'm not moving the reticle. Slider misses inside, ball four. Lead off walk here for Kaufman. First walk for Bears and Baird today, and that'll bring up Studwick. Singled last time up, he's one for two. Change of up, taken high, ball one. Baird and Baird get to throw a strike this inning. Cutter from away, there it is as it hits the high outside corner, 1-1. One, one. Cutter in there at the letters, 1-2. Heater up, chased it, strike three. Third punch out for Bergenberg, one down. Studwick retired, here's Crowds. Grounded into a double play last time up, he's one for two. No longer locked in. Inside pitch still active though. Cutter up and in, whiffed on at 0-1. Chase it inside, dribbler to the mound. Bergenberg off, no play at second, has to take the out of first on the fielder's choice. Two down for Mick Stevens, who's over two. Popped out last time up. He's also hit a, or he grounded out last time up. He's also lined out. Move for two today. Still on fire. High pitch, still active. Slider middle away. Caught the outside corner, 0 1. Cutter up and away. Chased. Popped the second, and that ends the inning, as of course we get the leadoff runner on, but do nothing with it. Bottom six. We're still down 2 0. Stern, Song, and Horn do up. There's Stern, he's locked in, 0 for 2 today, trying to get it started. First pitch, curveball up and in, chased it inside as it fooled him badly, 0-1. We're in the middle away, chased and fouled off, 0-2. Better up and away, high and outside, 1-2. Slide it down and in, line at the middle to short hard on the ground, Lopez dives off his glove into center field, and that's going to be an infield single for Stern. Casper's first hit of the day is both Lopez and Nozzle go down to neutral. Here's Song, one for two with a single. Forcing him down in the way in the first pitch. Line to second, Coffin lunges out of her reach. It's a base hit into right field. First and second now with nobody out. Overdog's threatening again. Here's Horn, 0 for 1 with a walk. 
Nozzle up over 70 pitches now. Curveball down in the way in the first one. Chase Chopper to second. Slow roller. Coffin there. Gets the out at second. Lopez the first. Laid. Fielder's choice. Runners at the corners. One down for Robin Yu with the RBI chance again. One for two with an RBI double. Can he get it done? Cutter up and in on the first one. High and inside. Ball one. Where's him down? Just low. 2-0. Slider down the way, low, 3-0. Where's the knees, runner goes, strike called, throw down by Thomas is perfect, nails Horn at second, nice throw, tugboat. Horn got greedy. Horn's first time being caught this year, she's 0 for 1 in steal attempts. 3-1 count here to Robin Yu, who's taking all the way. Well down the way, checked outside, ball four, third walk from Nozzle. Runners at the corners, two down for Perez, who walked last time up, he's 0 for 1. Nozzle's last batter here, let's see if he can get him out, get the quality start again. Come on, Rusty. Where's him up and in? Strike call, 0-1. Slider away, chased outside, foul back, 0-2. Cutter down, below the knees, chased and fouled back, still 0-2. Well, down in the way. Foul off. Still 0 2 as Perez is chasing everything here. Four seamer up and away. High, except that one. 1 2. Cut her up. Checked high. 2 2. Slide him down in the way. Line to short. Right. Lopez leaps out of his reach. It's down for a base hit. Perez drives in the third run of the day for the dogs. It's 3 0, and that's going to do it for Nozzle. He chases every pitch until I intentionally throw two out of the zone. I just, I just don't get it. AI's just fucking with me at this point. Nozzle done, five and two-thirds innings. He gives up three earned runs on seven hits and three walks. Uh, no home runs. He struck out three. He is in line for the loss, and he misses a quality start by one out. Because, of course, he does. Going to the bullpen here. We're going to turn it over here to... Not a lot of options here. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and turn it over here to Hugh Jacobs for right now. Hugh, no record, a 0 ERA and an 033 whip. Two appearances in the season, three innings scoreless pitched, one hit surrendered. Batting average against 111, trying to get out of the jam here. RBI hero active for Kasha Emmon, who is 2 for 2 today with two singles, one run driven in. Where's him roughing in? Out of the zone, ball one. Where's him down and in? Strike called, 1-1. One one. Slide it down in the way, in the dirt. Good block by Thomas, 2-1. Throw ball down in the way. Chop, uh, back to Jacobs, who makes the play to first. That ends the inning. Nice job, Hugh. Way to get out of it. But another run home as the Overdogs extend their lead to 3 nothing to the seventh. The way Bergenberg is pitching, this lead looks insurmountable. Can our offense wake up? Thomas Lopez and Owugliams do up. Thomas leading off, one for two with a single today for the catcher. Change of away, strike called, 0-1. Cutter high, misses, 1-1. One, one. Slider pin, hits the top of the zone, 1-2. Slider down, hit at the middle, to second diving action to his right to make the stop, on to first. Gets the slow-footed Thomas with ease, one down. Lopez up next, one for two today with a single. Got he lined into a double play last time up. He takes the slider low. Ball one. Slider at the knees. Hit up the middle. This time it's poked through for a base hit. His action can't dive and make that stop. It was just out of his reach. Speedster on with one down in the seventh. Here comes a Wugliums. Catcher is tense. So for two today. Struck out once and grounded out. Cutter away. Strike call. 0 one. Cutter up and in. Sky ball to right center field. This is going to be an easy hang up there. Yu puts it away, two down. That's going to go ahead and bring up Linda Hand, who's over two today in center. Pitch out, nothing doing on the first one. Change it down and in, low and inside, 2 0. Lopez takes off, slider up and in, hard chopper to short. Emmon does backpedal to make the stop, though, on to first. 
And we tried the hit and run. It almost got behind her, but of course she didn't get over far enough and the inning is over. Bottom seven, it's 3-0. Bergenberg, action and gold do up against Jacobs. Like, we just cannot catch a fucking break right now, can we? Here's Bergenberg. 0 for 1 today, but locked in. Sack bunt last time up for the pitcher. Peter up in the first one. Check swing strike. 0 1. Peter up and away. High. 1 1. Curveball down and in. Strike called. It floats in there. 1 2. Forcing it down and away. Hitting the hole to first. Diving Studwick to his right. Nice play. Flips to Jacobs in time. 1 down. No reaction up next. 0 for 3 today. Slide it down in the way in the first pitch. Line to right field as the action gets aggressive, and that's going to be a base hit. Speeds to Ron with one down here in the seventh, his first hit of the day. Next up, Gold, 0 for 3 today. Number 25, up and in. Strike called, 0 1. Pick off first, nothing doing. Slide it down and in. That's a strike to Gold, 0 2. Curve ball away. Lined up the middle. That's a base hit. Back to back. One out. Knox here for the Dogs. They're threatening again here in the seventh. Next up, Casper Stern. One for three with a single last plate appearance on an infield grounder off the glove of Lopez. He's locked in. Slider up on the first one. Chased and fouled off. Out of play. 0 1. Ball down, taken low, ball one. One one pitch, heater up and away. Chased it, fooled him, one two. Boy seamer up and in. Jammed at the right field. A Wugliam's racing in, will not get there. That's down for a base hit. Base is loaded now with only one out. Nowhere to put Sack the Song either as their best hitter is coming to the plate. Two for three today with two singles, trying to bust it open here off Jacobs. Ball down in the way in the first pitch. Strike called at the knees. 0-1. Oh, see me down and then. Chased it. Dribbled the second. Slow roller. Coffin charge. Flipped the second one. Lopez the first. Laid. It's a fielder's choice and the run scores. 4 nothing RBI for Song. Next up Horn. 0 for 2 with a walk. Jacobs now tense as well. That's the first run he's given up this year. Peter down and then. Low. Ball one. Slider been away. Strike called, one and one. Let's see him down and away. Chased it outside, one and two. Whiffer activates. Curve ball down. Chased it in the dirt, strike three. Blocked by Thomas on to first to end the inning as that's Jacobs' first punch out of the year. But he gives up a run. Four nothing to the eighth. Jacobs due to lead off. Then Kaufman and Studwick. As it looks like this game is pretty much over. Jacobs leading off. Pitcher will be pinch hit for here as Horn coming off as well. Coming in as a defensive sub at third base as utility infielder. Everybody's favorite rebuildable piece, Dig Efforto. So Dig will play third moving forward. And we're going to pinch hit off the bench here with... We're going to turn it over here to, hmm, let's give it to Kerry Cartman here, 0 for 2 off the bench as a pinch hitter, trying to get it started. Change of up and away, hits the corner, 0-1. Heater misses high from Bergenberg, 1-1. Heater down and in is popped up over short, but right there is Emmon for the first out. Coffin up next, 1 for 2 with a single and a walk today, still locked in. Heater up, hit through the middle. That's a base hit as Bergenberg couldn't react in time to pick that out of the air. Uh, Kaufman on with her second hit of the day. Got to bring up Studwick, one through the single. Fastball hitter still active here. Long look at first there from Bergenberg. Heater up and in high, ball one. Slider way outside, 2-0. Kaufman took off too early, and she's going to be picked off. Damn it. I thought I had him timed. Kaufman's first attempt being caught this year, I believe. Yep, she's two for three now. And that's just been the story of our game. Like, we just piss away every opportunity we have. Or the game just snatches it from our cold, dead hands. 
2-0 pitch is skied to left center. Easy catch for the left fielder, Gold. That's a 1-2-3 inning. Yay. <sighs> I'm out of the bullpen here. We're going to turn it over to Chance Lauterbury here as we don't have anything to play for. We're down 4 nothing. Bottom 8, you, Perez, and Emin do up. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Chance Lauterbury, going to try and get the clean 8th inning here. He has no record, a 0 ERA, and a 1 whip. Two appearances for him on the year. No runs given up in three scoreless innings, three hits, a strikeout, and a batting average against the 250. First pitch to Robin Yu here. Heater away is fouled off, 0-1. Ball tile is active for Lauterbury. Slide it down the way, chased off and fouled off, 0-2. Change it down and in. Chased it low, strike three. First punch out for Chance. One down for Perez. One for two with a single walk and an RBI today. Heater up and away. Strike call, 0-1. Slide it down and in. Line to left center. Crowds on the run. Gets there on the lineup for the second out. Base empty for Emmon. Tense, two for three with two singles and an RBI today. Reverse splits active here against her. Slider put in on the first one. Strike call, 0-1. Heater down and away. Blasted to right center. Hand on the run. Dives to cut it off. That's still going to be a two-out knock. Third hit of the day for Kasha. She's three for four. Now to bring up the pitcher slot, Bergenberg, who will bat here as he's going for the complete game shutout. 0 for 2 with a sack bunt today. First split still active. Heater down and in. Chop at the middle of the short. Lopez cuts it off. On to first, and that ends the inning. Good scoreless inning from Lauterbury to the ninth. Hard of the lineup up for the Platypie. We need a big rally here, and we need it fast. Down 4 nothing. Crowds, McStevens and Thomas. Hard of the lineup coming up. Crowds leading off, 1-3 with a single. Inside pitch to for the young outfielder as Burnsburg going for the complete game shutout. Slider up and away, strike call, 0-1. Chase the slider in the dirt, bad swing, 0-2. Slider hangs, crushed the left center field, hit well by Crowds, but on the run is Stern. He will get there for the first out. Nick Stevens up next, 0-3 for three today. He is un un usually quiet day for him at the plate. Change up and away, strike call, 0-1. Change about in front of it inside, 0-2. Peter inside is Jan, pop up the short. McStevens goes 0 for 4. And here's Thomas, 1 for 3 with a single is the last chance today. Check low on the slider, good hold, ball 1. Cutter middle in line to short, and that is a complete game shutout as Emmon makes the catch. Werner Bergenberg, the young 22-year-old, takes us to task and shuts down our hot offense as the Overdogs win easily today. 4-0 the final score as we didn't remember to bring our bats with us from Red Rock Park. We just left them behind, and we got the shit kicked out of us because of it. Nice job, guys. <sighs> A wasted, qual almost quality start from Rusty Nozzle. Decent outing from the bullpen. Only seven hits today for the offense. Hitless today were McStevens, surprisingly. A Williams continues to struggle. Linda Hand is a bum. Rusty Nozzle, he's a pitcher. I don't expect much from him. And Kerry Carmen fails to deliver in the few opportunities he does get to bat. On the other side for the dogs, Horn is hitless, and so is Bergenberg. That was it. Uh, RBI single for Kasha Emmon. RBI single for Sam Perez. RBI double for Robin Yu. And an RBI infield fielder's choice from Sack to Song. No home runs for either team in today's game. Pitching lines, Rusty Nozzle. It was a great start for him. He was one out shy of a quality start, but they ran his pitch count up. Seven hits given up, three walks, three strikeouts, three earned runs. We had to pull him. He just got no run support. He falls to one and one. Hugh Jacobs, an inning and a third in relief, giving up three hits and earned run and a strikeout. And then uh, Lauterbury goes a solid scoreless inning there in the eighth, giving up a hit with a strikeout. On the other side, Werner Bergenberg threw a complete game shutout, just giving up seven hits and a walk with three strikeouts. He was dominant today for not getting a lot of strikeouts, but he got a lot of hard hit balls and he got a lot of double plays. So sometimes it's just the way the game is. First win of the year for Bergenberg. Bergenberg, your player of the game, followed by Cash Emmon with her three-hit day, and Robin Yu with his RBI double as the third-place finisher. None of our guys make the top three. Not surprising. We didn't do a damn thing. 
Yep, tough loss. That's going to end our four-game winning streak as well. We're going to fall to 5-2 and two now. Still, decent start to the season. Let's see if we can keep it going. Probably going to look to make some roster moves here. As it's kind of make or break time for this offense. After that piss-poor performance, we need to light a fire under these guys. All right, no manager moments. So that's good. At least I don't have to punish anybody for it. Looking around at roster moves. Ooh, our first roster moves of the season have been made. Who drew first blood? Nori Miyoshi is cut by the hot corners as they pick up third baseman Boozle Doozy Shine. Okay. So that means they're going to move Bobby Bash probably to shortstop. Hmm. Interesting. Bartholomew Draculo is dropped by the Blowfish here as they're going to go and get young uh, pitcher Doyen Stafford, the 29-year-old. Solid move there. That beefs up their starting rotation. Stuby Tubrick unfortunately suffers his first bit of regression. He loses a junk, dropping him immediately down to a B overall, which is a shame because he just pitched well his first two starts. Awugliums drops one arm. That's all right. We can get that back. She's 21. Kaufman regresses, uh, progresses, actually. She gets plus five power, now up to a B plus overall. Nice. Good job, Kitty. All right. Got a couple games to sim through, but first, roster moves and player development. Let's see. What moves can we make here? What is available for us here in free agency that is below asking value already? Hmm. I'm not worried about these C-plus guys, at least not these two. They're based on how low Deuteraldorino is going. I think we can wait a little bit longer in Ponderosa and Kobe. No need to rush on them. Cuffing him probably could get her now. She's a young, cheap backup catcher that I would love to have on this roster. I think besides her, I don't think there's anybody else that I'm willing to make a move on just yet. Not even on the pitching side of things, because none of the pitchers that I want are even near where their projections are supposed to be, except maybe Ball and Standos. Maybe we get him under .500K uh, above his rating. We can talk business with him, because he's B overall. That's generally the area where they'll like slightly overpay to get guys, and at B-plus or higher, they're going to play like a million over what they're worth to get guys. Yeah, I pass on Deuteraldorino as well. He's just a high-quality backup, I think. He's not starting caliber. That's about it for him. He's a power bat, and I already have one on the bench. I have Sky Rodriguez already. Yeah, I think cuffing him is the only move we're going to make here. Let's go get Camilla. And with that, we're going to go ahead and cut the... Uh, Veteran catcher, Chase the Bully. I think Tugboat Thomas still has some use here as a solid uh, veteran presence there behind the plate that can sub in for a Wugliams, who's still struggling here to start the year. And obviously, Cuffingham's going to give us the youth we need to progress faster. So it's going to cost us $2 million to make this roster move, but at the end of the day, it's a good move to beef up our catching depth. So we're going to make this move. To Bully is gone, and that is our first roster move of the series. Not bad, not bad. Get a young 22-year-old catcher who can also play right field, which is another weak point for us. All right, player development, what do we got? I'm looking to get rid of you, Cartman, so I'm not looking to upgrade you here. Sandbrick, not looking to upgrade you either. I'm trying to get rid of your ass as well. A Wugliams, you could use this. We've got two games on it, though. No need to rush with this one. Jacobs with reverse splits, it would make him a little bit more dominant. But I'm looking to get rid of him and reverse splits with minimum boost ink and it help him much. <sighs> That's a tough one. Studwick. You're 35, you're just gonna regress anyway. I don't see the point. And that's not gonna be here. So this one was probably for to bully then. Okay. <laughs> Yes, the only one up for grabs is Jacobs. I'm this doesn't entice me enough to go get it, so I think we'll pass. Let's sim up to the next one and preview our next matchup here on the season and then call it a night. Ooh, freebooters beat the Moose. Nice. Love to see that, of course. Wide loads win. Not great. They're now tied with us atop the division. Nemesis beat the Grass Eaters. Eh, at least the Grass Eaters lost. That's a plus. Wide loads then proceed to lose to the Moonstar, so we go back up by half a game. Nice. Fish win. A pitcher's duel. Soft Heath beat the Beebles for us. That was nice of them. Grapplers and Heaters here. Grapplers shut them out 3-0 as they move to half a game behind us as well. 
Overdog's lap last the Jack stairs. They continue to win, and the Wild Pigs blow out the Moose. Okay. Not bad. So we still have the division lead despite the loss today. Half game lead on Wide Loads and the Grapplers. Next episode, we are taking on the Buzzards. And thankfully, we are at home. Thank God. I do not want to go to Shaka right now. <laughs> on the mound is going to be number four pitcher Hannah Hogswin for them. And on the mound for us is going to be long reliever Rufus Sumar. So technically, we have the edge. But again, remember, Sumar is a long reliever. We can maybe get four or five good innings out of him at max. If we get six out of him, it's a miracle. Lineup we'll use for that matchup. Leading off in center will be Willie Bacon as he's back in the lineup after fixing his mojo. Muffin Studwick will still bat second. He's moving back to left field, though, as we're going to send Rory Crowds to the bench. Williams is still going to get the start in right field despite being tense. They're hoping that she can get out of this slump. I'm hoping that, too. Beefcake McStevens remains in the cleanup slot at third. Coffin down to the five slot at second, still locked in. Coffin's been doing really well at the top of the lineup, though. I want to keep her up there. Move Willie Bacon down in the order because he's just, he's not hitting this year. Not at all. Neither is a Wugliams, really. You know what? We're going to put Camilla Cuffingham, the rookie catcher, up there. She's going to make her debut in the three slot. I got good, I got a good feeling about that. Willie can bat fifth. Why not? Uh, we'll move Lopez up to the sixth slot. A Wugliams can bat seventh. And I want Sambrick as far away from any RBI chances as possible. He can bat eighth. And then Zumar will bat nine. All right, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Tough loss today. We got manhandled by the overdogs as Werner Bergenberg took us to task and threw a complete game shutout, giving up only seven hits in route to the victory. And, I mean, Rusty Nozzle pitched well, but you can't do much if your offense doesn't want to score that today. And, unfortunately, that was the case as we are held scoreless for the first time here in the series. Dropping that game, we fall to 5-2, and two, but we do hold on to the division lead thanks to the wide loads splitting their sim games here today, going 1-1. One and one. Next time out, tune in to see what we can do against the Buzzards. Made it this deep, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below if... Uh you want to come over here and watch the games live before they're posted, and also follow me over in this community as well if you so choose. Catch you on the next episode, everybody. Until then, this is The Nasty One, signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.